What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am actually on the ice and I'm winter ice camping. Can you believe it? You've tuned in for, I think it's going to be a great episode. I don't know yet. It hasn't happened. So yeah, pretty late setup today. I came out with my buddy Corey and we shot a little bit of footage. It was really tough to get out here. There were so many trees down across the trail. I had like a five, six mile snowmobile ride in and there was trees everywhere and we bushwhacked, we made it in. That sled is absolutely incredible. I can't believe how awesome it is and still haven't figured out what it can't do yet. I uh, hauled in a lot of gear. This is the most stuff I've ever brought on a camping trip. I just got a bunch of toys I wanna use and stuff I wanna show you guys and shoot some videos to help you out if you ever wanna do this winter camping and just do some other fun stuff too. So, you know, just looking around, I got a Garmin live scope here. I got a come along there, I got a bag full of guns and ammo there. I got a battery powered vacuum sealer there. I got a Coleman oven there that goes on top of my stove. I got a brand new percolator. That's pretty cool too. So I'm pumped to use that. It's just like the one my buddy Ken got us for camp up north that we really like. This one's a black enamel instead of a, a blue. So I'm gonna burn the paint off that first tonight and then get my coffee ready for the morning. What else do we have? We got a couple new jack traps I'm really excited to use. They were custom made. Donnie and I milled out some bird's eye and curly maple. And then Donnie trimmed it down to the perfect size. We got it over to Sean and Sean turned them into jack traps for me. So I'm stoked about those. Those will be put to use for the first time ever this trip. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, new, new additions. I got a reading light. That's kind of cool. That's going to go over my bed. I got this stove that I didn't get a chance to give it like a really good review last time. I didn't give it a review at all because I, I really want to put it through the test. And there's a couple things I want to do. I want to build a travel box for it. And on that travel box, I want to put like a sheet of metal because I noticed I had a ton of heat loss go through my wood floor and melted like two or three inches of ice below the tent last week on my trip. And it was like 10 below zero. So... A lot of heat going through the floor, going down for some reason. So maybe I got to get a little bit higher. Maybe I got to get a little bit longer legs for it. Or maybe I need some metal there to reflect or refract, or I guess reflect the heat away from the floor and back into this building. But I, I got a brand new uh, stove fan for it. These are the ones I use in my wood shop. Um, it pushes a ton of air and hot air. Uh, a couple guys commented from the last bunch of videos that I need to put like a damper on the on there for the flu or or on the stove pipe going out and that helps. And then a couple guys commented that it doesn't help. <laughs> so I don't know. So I'm going to try it. I know my buddy Brandon has one in his ice shack and that stove or the smaller stove than that actually uh, heats the thing up like crazy. One thing I did notice and I know it'll burn. I know it'll heat this whole place up really well, but it chews through the propane. So I had two cans last last trip and I think I went through three cans or three and a half cans over the course of the week and I used it very sparingly. So I'll give you a better review on it after this week. Um, temperatures this week look like freezing at night in the 20s and like in mid 30s in the day. So we're kind of on a warming trend. I'm lucky to have ice. I'm happy to have ice. Happy to be out here winter camping. Happy to bring it to you guys. So super stoked for that. I got some other cool things that are just ridiculous. An idea I've had for like three years that has finally come into fruition on the on the ice this trip. So you'll see that this trip too. We got a battery powered fillet knife. You might have seen that in a couple of my other videos. I went and picked up uh, Bass Pro Shop's best one. I'm going to try that baby out. The one from China that they sent me from a, I don't even know what company. Didn't really, didn't cut the mustard so to say. So, so that thing is going in the junk pile or the giveaway pile or whatever.
That's strong. Sound her down for depth. A piece of a rubber band. So you got this much line there and we're going to put it about that far off bottom one foot off bottom so that's our bottom marker right there so we know where we are in the future take that off the tip of the hook No weights on this guy. All right, we got a nine hundred and fifty three yard. Par six today. Gonna be testing out Callaway's new newest driver. This one's built for speed and accuracy. Let's give it a rip. We're hitting a Pro V1 today. We switched over to the uh, to the fluorescent balls so we could find it in the snow. But the flag's somewhere down there. We've got a clubhouse to our right. We've got an island to our left. Let's let her rip. Tee it high, let it fly. That's a bomb. Four! I didn't realize they were on the green up there. All right, let's go get it. I think it's cart path only today. So we're gonna have to keep our golf cart on the path today. Wipe the snow off. Let's get them. Well, 397 yard drive for you. We got a, about 400 left, so we're gonna go with a uh, little stinger of a seven iron. Playing TaylorMade's new new irons this year. Uh, let's give this thing a go. Feels like pretty firm lie. That's crushed. Whew. Wow. That might be over the green. We're getting a lot of rollout today. I don't know why. The conditions are perfect for it. I smashed it. We got a five footer for triple eagle. Let's go up there and make a chip or a putt. I don't know what the conditions, how the greens are rolling today. I think they're pretty firm. But come on up guys. You're not even gonna believe where this shot is. Got a lot of roll out of that seven iron. The ball's pretty, pretty hard today. Oh, don't drive on the green with it, car. Yeah, we got a nice little five-footer for Triple Eagle. <laughs> Legit Triple Eagle. When you got a putter like that, sponsored by... I'm sponsored by Oscar Mayer Wieners. They make some Louis Lobsters. And uh, it's been a pretty good sponsorship over the years. You know, they've been taking care of me. I was a lot smaller when they signed me on, but... When you got a putter like that, it's hard to get people to play you for money after that. No reaching in the hole. We scoop them out old man style. 
with our jack trap scoop. All right, guys, we're back at it. We're golfing. This is uh, Corey and I are just out for a friendly match. We got a clubhouse over there, the Eskimo 850 clubhouse. We're going to stop and get some irony palmies after, maybe even between the hole, but he hasn't warmed up yet, so I'll give him a break. He hasn't swung club in a couple years, but uh, 893 yard par six. It's a pretty flat driver. It's hard to get up in the air, but we'll, we'll get it up there. Oh yeah. Got some snow. No bounce. I see it. Snow. Yeah, still you got it up in the air though. His driver's a little too tall for me. It's still rolling. I'm, I'm a short guy. This is, this is a long driver. You got some roll. I see it. Oh, that's in the hut. That might be in the clubhouse. What? Oh! Club twirl? Hold on. Let me get a club twirl. There we go. Okay. All right, we're off like a herd of turtles. Uh, you got a seven iron, a seven iron or a, what is this one? A, a 60, yeah, seven iron or a 60. I'm gonna go seven. Or a hockey stick. <laughs> I'm gonna go seven. Four. We, we play bogey golf. Yeah. Bogey golf wins tournaments. It does. I don't know which one, but it will win a tournament. It's still cart path only, right? I mean, I would assume at this point. Okay. For the fees that we play. Oh man, this is expensive. Work. I have to pull up the, take the driver <laughs> off the deck. <laughs> no, you can get there with a seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where the heck my you ball went. You asked me to come fishing today. Yeah, it was a little bit I different. I think I had to loosen up for my golf. Course. Right. Where's the cart girl anyway? Um. I haven't seen her. All oh, nice. That's right at it. Nice swing. Oh. Good bounce. Hit some snow Good shot, dude. Some snow He's loosening up. Guys, you probably didn't know this about me, but I also have a YouTube golf channel. I let my buddies name it, and I was I was having a rough time at, at the time, so they called it Joey Shank. So if you want to see it, I got a golf channel called Joey Shank. So we got like 140 out. I'm gonna use a comfortable little 60 degree wedge and really go at it. Seven iron's too much, so I'm gonna go at it with a 60. Pretty firm line, feels all right. It's gonna be hard to get under this thing, but I think I can. All right, there it is right there. A little thin. <laughs> She's rolling though. <laughs> That's why we use yellow balls. Oh, good cut. He looks composed. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. I think he's on the green. Not as much roll as I wanted. You're on the white. Bald Eagle coming in. I know. You're on the white. This is where you win money, right here. Did I crank it? Oh, not bad. Looks good for me. I mean. It's on the white. I can putt that. Oh, look at that. We oh. just got a flag. Do we, which flag do we go to? I know. <laughs> we just got a flag, guys. Golf game's getting interrupted. It's moving. Oh, yeah. Got him? How's he feel? Not bad. Just throw that line to the side, and he might... He might steal that line from me. I'm gonna set this right here. What's up, guys? We got a first pike on, first flag of the year. Mid Corey's, Corey's making his appearance on the channel. <laughs> you know, actually, I was on here. Oh yeah, yeah, a while ago ten now. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> first ice fishing appearance. Any size? There you go. Nothing yet. No, but definitely a fish, right? So, so if far. he he might make a hard run at the hole. Oh yeah, he took a pile. Yeah. You're at the bottom marker. If he makes a hard run, let him have it. Just let it go right through your hands. But we got steel leader. Doesn't feel giant, huh? It's a good one. It is a good one? Not bad. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Not bad. He's double digit. Yeah, sure. Nice. Whatever you do, do not lip him. Well, he didn't. Well, that's my first pike mid-putt. 
I will say that. <laughs> Never had a pike mink. Dang, dang fish. We had one trap out and caught a fish. As you can see over this shoulder, we got golf clubs on the... Nice. Sweet. Good fish. We lost a little bit of focus on that one. But we're both putting. We're both either chipping or putting. We're on, we're on the white. But there's a lot of footprints up there on the green. And the, the footprints on the white are hard to get around. Don't walk in my line. Just tap it in. Yeah, Just tappy, tappy, tappy. Oh, that flag's back up. We'll get that in a minute. What do you think? <laughs> Sli down? Slightly left. Slanted left. the bounces a little harder you had it you can bring the oscar meyer if you want the green sucks i don't here. know if you want it or not no i gotta finish out on the stick what are they rolling at like a two on the stint meter <laughs> one. i really thought it had more flex than it has oh i gotta go over these snow wheel tracks we're not getting a lot of roll out are we Uh, yeah, I'm in trouble. Alright, here we go. I'm in trouble with my lie. No! Oh. So close. So close. You I'm can like, you like can fit you, you can improve no, you can improve that lie. I'm okay <laughs> with that. I have to wrist shot it out of Yeah, you're not in a sand trap. You don't deserve a, a, a hard boiled egg there. Alright. Nice. Alright. Right. I'd i I'd call that good good. Just tap, it in. Just tap them in. That's good guys. Anything within the Anything within the handle is good. How long is the putter? Yeah, so anything within the leather, and this is the leather, so anything within. I'll show you the setup. Let's walk through. So that's my new coffee percolator. Let me get a light behind this. That'll be a lot better for you guys. All right, so there's my new coffee percolator. We're going to burn the paint off that thing. We're camping, so I'm going to have some popcorn tonight. That's the old Jiffy Pop. You can't, I don't know, it's been so long since I've had that. But I'm running, this trip I'm not running the green, little greenies. I'm running a hose. That's like a four or five foot hose. And I got that to a little pony uh, can down there. You can see it. Like an old little, uh, it's like a five gallon or five, I guess it'd be a five pounder is what it'd be called. It's, they're hard to find. I think um, like some plumbers still have them and stuff like that. That's just an old one that... That I was lucky enough to acquire but that should run me well over the week I only go through a couple of those one pounders and that's that's probably five but we got we got gear clothing hanging up over here um we, we got some ridiculous stuff over here you'll see that in the videos some fishing gear I gotta put to work tomorrow this is the the um the new st the new stove heat oven deal right there it's a two burner that's the new wave 4000 and i'll show you what that looks like it's just a little metal box that's got like two burners going in there i'll get the light off so you can see it burning but it can really crack like that's full bore on both both sides and i can feel the heat just coming hard at me but i'm gonna run both on pretty low to conserve propane and because it's not really that cold in here anyway i got a little draft going i gotta make sure i bank the sides of this thing tomorrow but there's my bed uh cot got a cot pad got my second sleeping bag underneath that's that new browning that i tried to use but i got wound up in it a little too much and woke up feeling like a sausage pinched and squeezed and twisted twisted around so i went back to my old reliable never had a problem with this this is like an oversized cabela's uh cloth one from 1997 i think my buddy's dad gave that to me my buddy's parents gave that to me and it's just just a cloth just a you know pretty thick pretty heavy it's not something you'd want to hike with but it does the trick here and then at night um, when I'm not running the heat, I usually wear a winter hat over my head, keeps my ears warm. 
Uh, got a clothing bag, got, you know, battery chargers and stuff in that bag. That's the box that the propane stove came in from New Way. And then got my Bogue RV electric box. It's kind of like a Jackery, but it runs the lights in here and charges my GoPro batteries and stuff. That's, that's where I'm running the vented propane out there. Um, hopefully it'll dry this place up a little bit. It was a little bit wet out there today, setting up. And then under here, I got all my cooking stuff under my table. Under here is all the food and some GoPros in there. That's just various stuff over there and the cook stove there. So that's camp for you. I'm on a wood floor. If you're new to the channel, I love having a wood floor. I love being able to take my shoes off and walk around in my socks when it's dry in here. And usually it dries up pretty quick and it uh, keeps things really warm and dry. And it's just nice just sleeping on that <laughs> and nothing sticks to the ice and keeps you a little bit high and dry too. I'm two inches up off the ice with some airspace. So yeah, so I built that wood floor and the panels. So it's easy to throw in the sled and easy to handle. But that's about it for uh, for the description of what's going on. And like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook the paint off this new percolator. So And then I'll get my coffee ready for the morning. And before then, I think I'm going to have a little evening snack and have a little bit of Jiffy Pop. So let's see if we can get that going. I'll, I'll tune you guys in for that too. Once you hear it sizzling, you shake it. This one.
shut it off too soon. That's gotta be it. <laughs> oh man, that's, awesome. that's pretty awesome. Open it with a fork. Immediately remove it. Carefully open with a fork. To release hot steam. Serve and enjoy. Well, we ain't got no fork handy, so... <laughs> ah, that's awesome. That's good. Nice little evening snack. That ought to clog the colon. Drive one of them buckets of popcorn in there. Top her off with a little hot tea and probably do a little reading tonight and that's going to do it. Tomorrow morning, gonna drive a staving breakfast into me. Then I gotta go pick up my buddy Sean. Sean's gonna fish with me tomorrow. He takes off, and I think I got a buddy coming in the next day with a buddy of his. And then I think we're solo for the rest of the week. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. But, um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know in the comments what you like about these camping videos. And, you know, I get some feedback saying no one, you know, that they're tired of seeing breakfast and tired of seeing the cooking and that and then i get other feedback saying they love it so i think i'm just gonna do my own thing like i always do and you know put it out there and if you don't like it don't watch <laughs> it's that easy but as far as the fishing goes we're gonna be multi-species fishing we're looking at three or four species we could be in some really big fish this trip too so pretty excited about that and really excited about all the support i get on this channel from you guys and Super grateful and thankful. I know there's a lot of choices on YouTube now, and now there's a lot of people doing this winter camping, winter ice camping, and winter ice fishing camping stuff. So I know there's a lot to choose from, and I really appreciate you guys following my channel and and uh, being loyal and and enjoying the content and sharing it with your friends. So. Those of you missing Donnie, I'm missing him too. He's on a trip with a buddy of his. Uh, he's going to help out a buddy at a, at his camp. And then as soon as he gets back, he says, give him one day to recuperate. And we're heading up to our camp. So I'm pretty excited about that. And we're going to get that wood stove stoked up, fired hot, and do some snowmobiling. And just spend some good time up north in the North Main Woods at camp with Donnie. Um, I'm going to cook a few meals a little bit different than normal this week. You know, just because Donnie's always doing stuff like that too. And I love it when he cooks a meal in that oven or cooks something different on the ice. So I'll have a couple different ones for you guys to, to see this week for lunch and dinner and, and stuff like that. Breakfast pretty basic. I keep it pretty basic, especially on the ice. 